Is the company interested in whale investors? If so, who do I reach out to? Uh, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out how to speak a language other than... I, I mean, they did type this out. Like, it's beautiful, but I don't really understand it. Yeah. Uh, so that's tough. Fair um, enough. Yeah, I, 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 if text is an option, right? Like, if you've got an accessible keyboard that allows you to like fin uh fin type or or you know i i, I well, my understanding is whales often have quite uh, agile like mouths quite oh, okay. dexterous yeah uh dexterous mouths yeah then uh that's that's an option so you could you could type we could correspond via text um as for who to reach out to about it okay in all seriousness i will actually answer your question right now we are not looking for any outside investment right now we are we're pretty we're pretty flush with cash, actually, uh, the community response to both the backpack and screwdriver launch has been overwhelming. We have covered our uh, like our development costs for both of those projects and are now in the black on both of them. They're both shipping. Uh, we're in we're in great shape. I mean, there's always I mean, it, it always depends on the magnitude and the terms. If you have a billion dollars and you still let him do whatever he wants, maybe there's a conversation there. Yeah, I mean, I'd have that conversation for yeah. sure. But like, depends how big of a whale you are. I mean, if you're if you're that big of a whale, you probably have someone on staff who's smart enough to figure out how to get in touch with also me. Also, that. Um, so you know, it's like it's that sort of thing, right? Uh, but it's like, do you have enough blubber? Do you have enough blubber? Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good <laughs> question, though. Like to be clear, it's not like we it's not like we couldn't use some investment. Like if you were to come and say. Yeah, look, I only want a small percentage of the action, and this investment is going to be such that Creator Warehouse could have multiple logistics hubs, um, bring the whole thing in house, and you could, you know, I don't, I don't know, uh, you know, you could triple the footprint of the lab and accelerate the, you know, minimum viable product from 18 months to like 12 months. And like, you know, if, if it was, if it was really going to have a, a real impact on our ability to, to scale, then maybe, but as it is right now, we, we are not cash limited. Mm -hmm. We're, we're limited by like, it's hard to hire, um, we're limited by just the 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 pace of decision making, right? Like you don't want to just expand for the sake of expanding. You want to make sure that everything you're doing is carefully considered and meaningful. You don't want to just build more products because you like had a cash infusion and you just like build as many products as you can. That's that's not a that's not a healthy way to grow. And I think that would be a disservice to the investor if if they were to come in and say, yeah, well, like my expectation is my investment grows. So uh, do things dumb that are different from how you used to do them. Like that's not good, right? So I would have to feel like we're providing, you know, a, a good value for you. And I feel like in the situation we're in right now, we probably wouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've had a... We've had a lot of conversations internally about, you know, what would be the right ways to raise money. And there's, um, you know... The answer usually comes down to don't. Yeah, yeah. Because no matter what it is, like on the one hand, it sounds cool, right? Yeah. To say like community ownership. Oh, we get a big ownership. burst and, oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Right? Like, oh yeah, we're, the, we're like the community owned media outlet or something like that. But at the end of the day, anytime there's an opportunity to make money, you're going to have people who are not community members who are investors who are just looking for a return and investors typically want a return that beats other returns they're putting their money to work that's the whole wheel that's the whole mouse wheel that everyone's running on is it's not about just running a profitable successful company with a good brand image and with ethical practices well that's not good for investors investors want you to maximize profits so that their money is working as hard as it possibly can and I'm not going to promise that. Yeah. Your money might not work as hard as it can because we might think that that isn't the right thing to do. Um, you know, like there's 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 verticals that we just don't accept sponsorships from outright. We've had so many opportunities to take, for example, supplement sponsors. Mm. There is a ton of money in That's supplements. That's a minefield. That's a huge minefield. Let me tell you about how much money there is in supplements because it costs nothing, right? 
And it's like 40 bucks for this jar of God only knows what that has who knows what effect, right? Um, and so I've always just been extremely uncomfortable with it. Like that I could, I, there would be exceptions where I, where I could potentially take a sponsorship from a company that is like a drug you put in your body. Um, like Mark Cuban's thing looks super cool. That super low cost, um, pharmaceuticals. Thing. Oh yeah. That's totally different that, though. But, the, but that's totally, that's, and a to that, that's wicked, but totally different. Yeah. That's a totally different situation. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like if we had investors breathing down my neck going, well, well, uh, if you guys had your own line of supplements, then y you guys could be increasing your revenue by 20% and look at the margin. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. 